Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 10th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, God's Holy Mountain, and our scripture is Isaiah chapter 65, where the prophet writes, Look, I am creating new heavens and a new earth, and no one will even think about the old ones anymore. Be glad, rejoice forever in my creation, and look, I will create Jerusalem as a place of happiness. Her people will be a source of joy. I will rejoice over Jerusalem and delight in my people, and the sound of weeping and crying will be heard in it no more. No longer will babies die when only a few days old. No longer will adults die before they've lived a full life. No longer will people be considered old at 100. Only the cursed will die that young. In those days, people will live in the houses they build and eat the fruit of their own vineyards. Unlike the past, invaders will not take their houses and confiscate their vineyards. For my people will live as long as trees, and my chosen ones will have time to enjoy their hard-won gains. They will not work in vain, and their children will not be doomed to misfortune. For they are people blessed by the Lord, and their children too will be blessed. I will answer them before they even call to me. While they are still talking about their needs, I will go and answer their prayers. The wolf and the lamb will feed together. The lion will eat hay like a cow, but the snakes will eat dust. In those days, no one will be hurt or destroyed on my holy mountain. I, the Lord, have spoken. The theme of my ministry is always centered on the surrendered life. By this I mean the entryway into living in right relationship with God is predicated on Jesus' words to his followers to deny self, take up the cross, and follow me. Absent of that surrender, there can be no Christian, no salvation, no possibility of pleasing God. For obediently bowing or surrendering is the essence of worship. Admittedly, I spend most of my writing, preaching, and counseling ministry exploring the many ways we surrender to honor God. But there are times when I'm caught up short by one of the prophets earnestly painting the surreal picture of the eschaton, God's hand sweeping an end to the constraints of time, space, and the veil that separates us from his holy presence. And those are the special moments that make surrender different than some agonizing duty. It makes surrendering to Christ's will the prelude to a wonderful dessert after a hearty meal. Isaiah's depiction of God's holy mountain and prayers answered before they're even thought of in our heads, vineyards, long life, and more are an oasis of rest amid the surrender. It's the graduation day of life. It's the fulfillment of everything for which God's heart yearns and our hearts were created. It's the restoration of Eden and better. It's no longer just being saved from sin's penalty and power. It's the realization of the edge of eternity where even sin's presence has been sent packing. That is a holy mountain. For you today... Join me in celebrating a moment of gazing at God's holy mountain full of everything that makes being alive worthwhile. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.